Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Manyland Plans. Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. I have all kinds of Hobonichi videos. I usually plan in a Hobonichi Cousin Avec, but I have a very special opportunity here to show you. Um, I am a part of this Hobonichi journey. Now this is a Hobonichi Weeks, and it has been traveling the country. I am number 25 of 50 people involved, and um, the goal is to have one person in every single state decorate a week out of the year. Of course, there are 52 weeks, and so it's just about perfect. I do want to go ahead and tell you the states that the creator of this is still looking for, and if you are in one of these states and you want to participate, I will put um, a link to the Facebook group and everything, how you can get a hold of her. So she's still looking for Alabama, Indiana, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Tennessee, Vermont, and Wisconsin. Now that's as of the filming of this video. It is possible that she even got um, a state or two since I asked for that list. So go ahead. I will have the Facebook linked down in the description so you can contact her if you are interested in being part of this very neat opportunity. So this is just a standard weeks. I don't think it's a mega. Um, no, I would say that it's probably just a standard weeks. And like I said, it's been traveling the country. And I don't want to flip through every single page because I am on YouTube and I feel comfortable sharing my things, but I know that not everybody else does. So I'm going to just kind of quickly breeze through some of the things. There is personal information here. People have been writing little notes. Um, and so I don't want to share all of that on the internet without their permission. Um, but I do want to kind of show you what this is like. So here in the monthlies, people have just been putting when it arrives where and decorating a little bit. So for me, it arrived January 3rd. I am filming this on the 5th. And um, if you have been watching my channel, you know that I'm gonna be gone a couple of weeks. My husband and I are camp directors these two weeks. And so because of that, I am actually putting it in the mail later this afternoon. It is going to Michigan, so that is very exciting. And I just realized I forgot to put in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> so I'll need to do that before I send this. And then after the monthlies, as always, we get into the weeklies. And I am just going to quickly breeze through these just to kind of give you an idea of what um, everybody's planning style is so different. And some people have been using stickers and watercolor and washi tape. And it's so fun to see how everybody else plans. So I'm going to quickly just flip through these to give you an idea of what it's like. So it has definitely been very, very fun to see how everybody else plans. This is the week that I designed. It is the week of 4th of July. And I have always wanted to try doing the Hobonichi Weeks vertically. You know if you watch my channel that one of my big hangups with the hang Hobonichi Weeks is that it is horizontal. My brain does not think that way. I have to have my day laid out in a timely manner like this. And <laughs> one of the reasons the cousin works so, so well for me. Um, I had never tried one of my kits vertically and I wanted to try it. Um, one of the reasons that I did not include the days of the week and the dates on the actual sticker is so that if you wanted to turn it this way and do Monday through Sunday, you could. And if I printed on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you would be forced to leave it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I used because it might not be quite what you're thinking. So I used the weekly kit for the washi. So here's what's left over and the check boxes. And then I tested out to see if the B page with the weekly kit worked and they are too long to fit into these. So what I wondered is if I could get the monthly labels to fit because they're smaller and I could. So I used the monthly washi as you saw on the July page and then I grabbed the monthly labels from these two pages and then these boxes as well fit really nicely in here. So if you are really wanting to make the weeks work for you and you can't get the horizontal layout to work and you want to 
try this vertical layout, these monthly stickers will work for you. Um, if there's enough interest, I could make a kit combining the first page of the weekly and the second page of the monthly. Um, I'm not gonna do that for a while until my shop reopens. I am on vacation as we um, are camp directors and having a baby at the end of the month. Um, but I just wanted to show you. I was so excited whenever I found this little hack. Um, they're not perfectly, like they weren't designed to be used this way. Um, so there's just a little tiny gap on either side of the sticker. Um, and then the scripts are just a hair big, um, but most of them fit really, really well still. So just wanted to let you um, kind of see that in action if that is something that you are interested in. And then probably one of my favorite parts of this little book to look through is um, the notes pages that everybody has added. So um, I think probably the creator of this added several, but people have been adding pages since, and it's very fun to flip through. And again, I'm not gonna show you each page individually because there is some um, personal information, but I have really enjoyed looking through. We have favorite quotes and favorite washi tape and favorite just anything you can think of books they're reading, shows they're binge watching on, I mean, all kinds of things. So just kind of quickly flipping through to give you an idea. Some stickers, some fountain pen ink, some birthdays, more stickers, a little bit about the people, and then some favorite washi tape. So again, this is a very fun opportunity. This little book is traveling the country, and if you are in any of the following states, then you might want to be a part of this too. So she is still looking for Alabama, Indiana, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Tennessee, Vermont, and Wisconsin. So that is just my little flip through explanation of the Hobonichi journey. If you um, maybe are not available to be a part of this or your state is already taken, you can follow the hashtag Hobonichi journey. People are posting there and you can also be a part of the Facebook group even if you are not a member yourself. So you can kind of see what everybody's been up to. So that's been very, very fun for me. And a special shout out to Marie, the creator and organizer of all of this. She's been the one getting addresses and I'm just, you know, facilitating the whole process. So thank you so much. I think this is a fantastic idea and I would love to be a part of it again in the future, maybe with a cousin version and maybe I'll just have to start it myself. So let me know if that is something that you would be interested in down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.